Another banking story where the East Africa Development Bank has partnered with the African American Institute to give skilled teachers working in public teaching institutions an opportunity to advance their knowledge in the fields of science, technology, engineering and mathematics. The program comes in the wake of concerns over only 27% of university students pursuing STEM. That, of course, is science, technology, education and mathematics related careers right across the region. The first thing we need to equip our teachers with these skills so that when they go to the classroom, then they have these skills, then they'll be able to pass it to the learners. The other thing that I'll advocate for is that we, know we need also to emphasize on our colleges and universities to have similar programs so that when a teacher trains in these schools, then when they come to the field, then they already have these skills so that when they go to classroom, then they have the skills and also the content. The, the problem that there is is uh, the learners are bombarded with so much content of which now they cannot uh, get the practical aspect of the same. So having more practical work, more equipment in our laboratories, this will uh, serve to achieve this goal. The most important thing I think that we can do is to ensure that the learning is student-centered so that the students are given the opportunity to do what they feel they are able to do, other than emphasizing on the pressure that education is what will give you the job. So students are running away from practice, especially in science areas, and do areas that they feel as long as you qualify to move to the next level, you'll get employed.